Hello friends, welcome to day 12 and I have my sweet handsome husband here with me today. And uh, we've both been studying this book on prayer. The whole theme of this is prevailing prayer, but what is prevailing prayer, Randy? So when I studied this, Pastor Gurley, he goes into the idea of Daniel and you know the story of Daniel, how that he prayed and there was a prevailing, continuing prayer that lasted for like 21 days. And then, you know, the angel then, you know, says later, I heard you the first time. But the key is it's important a lot of times when we pray to understand the timing of God, because that's such a, a big part of it. The process a lot of times is really more important than even the answered prayer itself sometimes. A couple different things has taken years for me to actually pray and see those things come to pass. I think the key is, is to understand when you're praying something that it appears to be God's will to answer, but you're just waiting on God's timing. And that's where it becomes so critical to just prevail in prayer. And there's a number of instances in the Bible, you know, we're, we're creatures that are impatient. And so our impatience a lot of times can cause us to miss God. And you got plenty of examples of that in the Bible. But the key is, is when you know you're praying the will of God and you know that you're just trusting God for His timing. One of the particular things I'm uh, talking about in my life, I think I prayed for one prayer for like about nine years and I saw God uh, answer that prayer. And um, you know, when, when I look back, just like Daniel, I'm sure if I could have an audible conversation with the Lord, He would say, hey, I heard you the first time, mm -hmm. but it was still important for me to trust Him all through that process until God you know, answered the prayer. And so prevailing prayers are honestly some of the most important prayers we pray in my opinion because you know in this day and hour we're used to instant everything and that's a wonderful thing if you can pray a prayer today and God answers it tomorrow man that's awesome but a lot of times you know it's a process and so I think that's what Pastor Gurley speaking to today. And, uh, and sometimes uh, it's having that, we talked about in the Draw the Circle, shameless audacity, like the little widow before the yeah. unjust judge. She kept on, kept coming, and kept prayers become memorials. They're building up a mm -hmm. memorial before the Lord. But the breakthrough comes whenever we continue in prevailing prayer. Mm -hmm. And at, you know, just like with Daniel in the 21 days, he fasted and prayed, and he had a stellar prayer life. Mm -hmm. I mean, he typically prayed every morning. Mm -hmm. He prayed at noon and evening. He kept the windows open in his room to Jerusalem and prayed in that direction. And it says he survived and thrived under, under the pressure of a strange land at a high level of responsibility and under constant threat for his life. I mean, that's pretty incredible. He survived because of his faith in God and to his personal prayer life. His prayer sustained him, guided him, and led him to make healthy and sure-footed decisions. And I think that more than anything, that's what we need right now in our land is leaders that will lead our, our homes and our churches and our communities and our country that will learn the power of prevailing prayer mm -hmm. and learn how to push through until that answer comes. If you think about it, what's really cool with Daniel too, and, and a lot of characters in the Bible that we read about, um, where did he get a pattern that he needed to pray three times a day? Probably he just understood that the more I pray, yeah. the closer I get to God, the more I see things the way he sees things. And so I want to end with what the angel said to Daniel in Daniel 10 and 11. He said, Oh Daniel, man greatly loved. There is the love of God that flows to all of us, but there is something unique and special in the heart of God to people that will choose to pray and to pray consistently and to pray prevailing prayers. First Thessalonians 5 says to pray without ceasing. Thank you all so much for watching. God bless. Have God a bless wonderful you. day.